Congratulations, you're now ready to get started. Let's put your newfound knowledge to the test. Let's check your trusty map to find the first house to approach. Whew, that was a close one. Good thinking, student energy ambassadors. When you get up to a neighbor's door, remember to check if there's a porch light before you knock on the door. Only one person in your group should approach the door. The rest should stay about five steps back from the door. You don't want to bombard the resident. And of course, be sure to smile and make eye contact with the resident. Now, sometimes the resident isn't so pleased to have company. In this case, simply stick to your script and be inviting. Hi, I'm Ruby and this is Paul. We're volunteering with our youth group to offer free energy efficient light bulbs for porch lights in your neighborhood today. So the big takeaway from this first scenario is even if you get a negative reaction from a resident, always stay positive and thank them for their time. Now most of the time the resident is very open and friendly. However, some residents may wonder if this is truly a free service. Simply assure them that everything is indeed complimentary. Once the resident allows you to inspect the porch bulb, you'll need to check a few things to make sure the bulb can be replaced. Be sure to check to make sure the fixture isn't broken, there is no motion sensor, it doesn't use a specialty bulb, or it isn't totally exposed to the elements. Also make sure they don't already have an energy efficient bulb, because you don't need to replace it if they do. If none of these issues are present, you are safe to install a new bulb in place of the existing bulb. Make sure to confirm with the resident you can take their old bulb away. Now you have a satisfied customer. If for any reason you can't replace the bulb, offer the new bulb to the resident to use somewhere else in their home. Now that you have the resident's attention, give them some helpful tips about how they can save energy in their home on a daily basis. Remember, do not enter anyone's home even if they invite you in. Just continue your questions on the porch. The last steps are to give the resident information about your volunteer group and to fill out your walk sheet with the resident's address and any comments about your interaction with them. That's all there is to it. Now you're ready to hit the pavement and lead the charge to improve the environment in your community.